Prince Harry reportedly plans to fly Meghan Markle and baby Archie around in a helicopter in California. The Sussexes lives have changed a lot this year, but Prince Harry has found a way to keep up with one of his most unique hobbies, flying helicopters, in his new home in California. Harry has joined a super-exclusive helicopter club near his new home in Montecito, according to a report from The Sun. Harry has joined a local flying club in California so that he can keep his helicopter license current, a source, described as a friend of Harry's, told the paper. You know you have to do a number of hours per year otherwise your license won't be renewed, and that applies in the US as much as it does in the UK. The club is a big deal for Harry, who would have been really sad to see his helicopter license expire, according to the friend. Plus, the membership will come with some fun perks for Meghan Markle and baby Archie Harrison, too. He's very proud of that license, he worked hard to get first the basic and then the Apache, the source explained. He's hardly likely to be recalled for military service in England again but he wants to keep the hours up for personal use, so he and Meghan can just take off for expeditions if they want to. Now we desperately want Harry and Meghan to launch a new Instagram account and document those expeditions. Sigh. The Duke of Sussex, 36, obtained a helicopter license in 2013 while serving in the Three Regiments Army Air Corps. A source said he needs to continue practicing to keep his license current. Prince Harry has reportedly joined a helicopter club in California so he can take Meghan and Archie on family trips. The Duke of Sussex, 36, obtained a helicopter license in 2013 while serving in the Three Regiments Army Air Corps, where he qualified as an Apache helicopter commander. He is required to keep practicing to keep his license current, a royal insider told The Sun. The source said, Harry has joined a local flying club in California so that he can keep his helicopter license current. You know you have to do a number of hours per year otherwise your license won't be renewed, and that applies in the US as much as it does in the UK. A friend of Harry's added, he's very proud of that license, he worked hard to get first the basic and then the Apache. According to the source, Harry does not have his own helicopter yet, but added that there will be plenty of rich benefactors with helicopters who would love the Royal Association. During his time in the Army Air Corps he was assigned to 662 Squadron, 3 Regiment within 16 Air Assault Brigade. He was awarded a prize for Best Co-Pilot Gunner when he first qualified as an Apache pilot in February 2012. His role included providing cover from above as the team retrieved casualties from the battlefield, earth to under enemy fire. Harry later qualified as an Apache helicopter commander in 2013 after three years of training. Prince Harry previously told his friends he misses the army and believes his life has been turned upside down. A well-placed source told the Daily Telegraph the Duke of Sussex has revealed to pals he is really missing his time as a soldier and his military appointments. These include Captain General of Marines, Honorary Air Commandant Royal Air Force Honington and Commodore-in-Chief of Small Ships and Diving. The source continued, he was in a happy place when he was serving in the Army, then he met Meghan and since then life has been great. But I don't think he foresaw things turning out quite as they did. However, they added Harry doesn't blame Meghan, 38, with the couple and son Archie now living in the US, but has a sense he was potentially better protected in the forces. After stepping down as senior members of the royal family, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex bought and pound 11 million mansion in Santa Barbara to live in with baby Archie, one. Some of Harry's friends claim the Duke of Sussex has signed up for web-based production courses and is happy to start from the bottom. A source told the Sunday Mirror, Harry has been doing courses, most recently a five-day creative producing lab. There is talk of Ron Howard being someone to emulate. It would prove to his family and the world he's not going to sit back and sponge off his name. Harry wants to work and is willing to do that from the bottom up. He also doesn't want to be in Meghan's shadow either. He is in a very creative headspace and is determined to work as hard as he can.